Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a highly requested video in which I show you guys step by step how I make my front lace wigs. I'm doing this video in collaboration with Her Hair Company who sent me three bundles of gorgeous Brazilian body wave hair. In addition to the hair and a styrofoam wig head, you will need a wig cap, weaving needle and thread, and a pair of scissors. I bought the hair weaving needle and thread and the wig cap at Sally's for less than $5. Before I go into the actual wig making, I'm going to show you guys first how I knot the thread. After pulling the weaving thread through the needle, I am just going to double knot the ends of it. In order to attach the tracks to the wig cap, what I first do is pull the needle through the track. I pull it through again about half an inch away and I pull the needle through the thread to make a little loop. I pull that through and I just keep repeating the process. You can pull the needle through the hair weft or not. It doesn't make a huge difference. The huge difference comes from, of course, attaching and pulling the needle through the actual wig cap. Every time you start a new line of hair, you're going to want to knot both ends so that the hair track stays firm and attached. The pattern should look like this. Now on to the making of the actual wig. To start the wig, I always begin from the top with the closure or frontal. I'm going to lay the closure flat on my wig cap and I pin mine down with fabric pins. Sew around the perimeter of the closure, remember to keep it laying flat. You're going to use the method that I just showed you to attach the closure to the wig. In order to achieve a deep side part, I laid my closure to the side of my wig head. If you want to have a middle part, for example, you would lay it towards the middle. After the closure is attached, I work my way to the back of the wig, the part that's going to be touching the nape of my neck, and I lay my first set of tracks there. I'm going to sew about three inches of tracks to the back of the wig. When I reach the end of the track, or my desired length of track, I just Flip the hair back over and sew it in the other direction. I try to leave about half an inch to an inch of space between each row of tracks. The tracks should be going up in a kind of zigzag motion from the back of the wig cap to the front of the wig cap and the length of the zigzag should be getting wider and wider. One track of hair should go from one ear to the next ear. You really just follow the shape of the wig cap and the styrofoam head. As you get to the crown of the wig, you're gonna try to avoid going in the straight zigzags and start to have your tracks lay in kind of an upside down U, mimicking the closure shape. And just keep on sewing closer and closer to the closure. I included some diagrams to kind of visualize what I mean, but keep in mind I am not an artist at all. I just thought maybe the extra visual could help someone. I don't know. When you get to the top of the wig, your last track should go line up perfectly with the closure piece perfectly touching it. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut away at the wig cap, the part of the wig cap that's directly underneath the closure. We're just going to cut it out. When you finish all your sewing, the wig should look something like this. I am absolutely in love with this hair. I got it in the lengths 20, 22, and 24 with a 14 inch closure, closure and it is in the Brazilian body weight. Once again, I got this hair from Her Hair Company. While the wig construction is finished, we still have a few more steps to go in order to make this wig look really realistic. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to carve out a part because as it is now, without a part, the wig doesn't really look even believable. So what you're going to do is just part your hair wherever you want it. First, you're going to use a comb to get the desired um, part. Like I said, I want a really deep side part. Once I've decided the shape of my part and where it's going to be, I'm going to use a pair of tweezers to pluck the hairs out of the lace to just make that part really stand out. The more visible you want your part to be, the more hairs you're going to pluck. I actually think I'm going to pluck more hairs out of this wig later on, just because I like my parts to be really visible. After that's all done, I'm finally going to cut the lace away from my closure, away from the front of the wig. Cut it as close to the hairline as possible without, you know, cutting the hairline.
And this is the finished look, super voluminous, super full, and it was a lot cheaper than buying a full wig. I hope you guys liked this video, I hope you learned something. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, leave me a comment letting me know what you guys think. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Mm -hmm.